7, a sinful destination. Yes, Lily responded, butterflies hovering in her stomach. Great. I hope you have told your mama you will be with me for a month. A month? Lily shouted. Marcus laughed. You must shout at the required moments. Get it? Lily audibly gulped. Marcus continued. Yeah, I am not paying $68,000 for a day or a week. It is for a month. Lily rolled her eyes. She felt in between saying yes and no. At times, Marcus seemed so helpful and dashing. And at others, he was the rudest creature Lily had ever talked to. But she did not react. She calmed herself down and relaxed on her bed. If you can't stay with me for a month, I will have to... Lily instantly thought about her father's misery and interrupted him midway. When will you pick me up? Marcus smirked. That is my girl. A good girl. Lily felt uncomfortable with his tone, but she was persistent she would put her father out of all his problems. Tonight, at 1 p.m. What? I have not even packed. Marcus clicked his tongue. You are very demanding. I must make sure you are punished rightly when you get here. He changed his tone when he said the last sentence. It was too erotic. Lily's breath became uncanny. She could feel her heart pounding. Okay, I have two hours then. I will pack. Good girl. You learn quickly. I have your address. I will pick you up exactly at one. Don't keep me waiting. Before hanging up, he whispered sensually, I hate waiting. Lily got chills when she heard him whisper. Her fingers shivered slightly when she put down her phone. It felt as if Marcus was right in front of her, whispering into her breath. Lily felt annoyed with these wild fantasies. God, I hate this guy. He is so misogynistic. Why am I dreaming about him? Ugh! Lily got up and opened her closet. She pulled a big suitcase and kept it on her bed. As she was glancing over her clothes, she thought to herself, what shall I take with me? She picked up a pair of baggy jeans and thought, is it right for the occasion? Then she gently hit her forehead. God, I never thought I would be going out for such an occasion. She threw the jeans away and picked up her leather shorts. The clock was ticking. She had a limited time to pack, so she did not even fold her clothes properly. Everything was dumped in the suitcase like a heap. Then she opened the drawer of her lingerie. Her heart started to do its dance again. All her wild fantasies came back to her mind. I do not have any provoking lingerie, she thought to herself. She turned back and looked at the time. Only one hour left. Lily bit her lips and dumped all the lingerie she had in her bag. As she was zipping her suitcase, her body hair stood up. She caressed and thought, why am I getting goosebumps? Oof, I am so scared. Are first times always this scary? Lily got up from the bed and started walking into her room. I should calm down. Calm down, Lily. Just be okay. It is no big deal. Virginity is only a social construct. It is nothing. But her heart could not stop beating heavily. She hastily stopped walking and murmured, Do I need to shave in there? Lily ran inside the washroom. As a 19-year-old who had never come across such a situation, she was panting heavily. It was almost 1 p.m. She picked up a notepad and scribbled a note for her father. Hey, Daddy. Good morning. I had a flight early in the morning. I did not want to wake you up. I will be back shortly. I don't know how long this project is. I will keep calling you. Don't worry. Also, here's $250 in this envelope. I had asked Zanea to bring the money from the restaurant. I will be back in no time. Please don't overdo work. Love, your Lee. Lily exhaled heavily and left the note at the door of her father's room. She could hear him snoring from outside. Lily muttered, Take care, Dad. She slowly rolled the wheels of her trolley and went out. It was a chilly night. She was wearing a short jumpsuit with a long overcoat, which she had buttoned till the neck. Lily stood at the gate, waiting for Marcus. Her body was shivering. Was it because of the cold weather? 
or that she was too scared. Should I inform Zen? She thought, but soon slipped the idea. I will leave her a message when I get there. She will worry unnecessarily. Just then, she heard the wheels of a car from the left. A black limousine stopped in front of her. My god, Lily thought. The door opened automatically. Marcus got down from the opposite door. The first glance she had of him was his back, his broad shoulders, and well-combed hair. As she got down the car, she could smell a strong perfume. Then he turned back. Lily's eyes gazed at him. He set his hair as he turned back. The moment froze for Lily. She stood there, numb. He was coming nearer. He kept walking towards her. Lily could not move. Sweat dripped from her forehead. Suddenly, in the cold night, she was feeling extremely hot. There was a point he got so close, she thought he would kiss her. His nose touched hers as he bent, but nothing happened. She opened her eyes to see him bend down to take her suitcase. He went away and got her stuff in the car. She sighed. Then, he gestured to her to get in. Lily thought for a second. She could hear her friend's voice in her head. Don't go. He is a prankster. It is too dangerous, Lee. Just then, Marcus bent again. This time, to whisper in her ear from very close quarters. I told you. I hate waiting. He used the same erotic tone he had used before. Lily did not think even a second and got inside the luxurious car. She heard Marcus chuckle like a devil, but she could not react to his rude behavior. Why? Why can't I do anything? He got inside the car and the door closed automatically. Her heart was still beating heavily. He looked at her. Lily could feel that he was staring at her. In a husky voice, he said, Welcome to a...